Democrats were threatened with their lives update on the war of Russia and Ukraine on May 3. Authorities declared a state of emergency following a series of wildfires. The NGA has declared a state of emergency after 12 wildfires were reported across the Krasnoyarsk Krai region. Express.co.uk provides a full map of where the fires have been detected. The RIA news agency reported that a total of 12 wildfires across the Minyasinsk district in Krasnoyarsk Krai prompted the authorities to step in. Blazes are now raging on an area of 300 hectares, very dangerously close to several settlements. Evacuation efforts are currently being reviewed for residents living in the vicinity. Footage posted on Russian social media showed flames billowing in the distance near the village of Lugovskoy. The affected areas are all within the Krasnoyarsk Krai region, which includes half of the Siberian Federal District. In Russia, Krai is recognized as a federal subject and Krasnoyarsk Krai is the third largest in the country. The city of Krasnoyarsk serves as the administrative center of the region with an area of 2,339,700 square kilometers. Reports of wildfires began to emerge earlier on Monday, with a photo on Twitter appearing to show large plumes of smoke near several towns in the area. The fire has a large radius of several kilometers, a large cloud of smoke is clouding the whole sky here. Authorities declared a state of extreme emergency in Krasnoyarsk Krai a few hours after the fires broke out. Maps from Dataminer estimate the fire started near the historic town of Minyasinsk, south of Krasnoyarsk Krai. The town is estimated to have a population of more than 70,000. These people are being warned by Russian authorities of danger. A video posted on Twitter by a Teginfo shows raging flames ravaging areas near local communities. Another photo uploaded by at Media Zona shows the fire blocking an interstate highway on its way to two villages. Putin is continuously suffering great blows, as fires continuously occur in many parts of Russia, many Russian infrastructures have been completely destroyed.